Hello and welcome to Calagra Market, <coughs> our daily program on Nifty, Bank Nifty and Global Markets Analysis. Without further ado, let's jump right into today's analysis and see what's up with the market. So, today what has happened is market has formed a green candle and it is trying to inch up above uh, the close on Friday. And of course, we had said that there's a possibility that we might see 25,300 which is slightly above because this pattern, right? This head and shoulder can work out at 25,300 perhaps. Uh, but it has given a slight uptick, uh, one percentage. Bank Nifty has given much stronger up move because uh, it has uh, uh, basically uh, there was a bottom here to 50,400 zone, and it has bounced from the bottom at the uh, at the bottom of the channel, right? So Nifty slightly bouncing, Bank Nifty slightly bouncing, uh, both indices bounced today with green candles right and, and there's nothing much to read into it because we can't really see any support or resistance anything forming at this uh, current level but there's a possibility that we might see some more upside uh, in nifty maybe 25 300 that's like roughly 150 points away now let's look at option chain <laughs> option chain Tremendous unwinding happened today, especially on the 25,000 strike. You can see this today. You, you, you can see this, right? 25,000 had a lot of, of unwinding. And now 25,000 is a support. 25,000 is a It is an evenly matched option chain. 25,000 has a lot of put writing. Otherwise, neutral option chain. And a support. PCR is 0.7 around ATM and overall 0.7 is considered to be the perfectly neutral um, PCR value. Now let's go to uh, Chirag is saying almost all indicators on Nifty suggesting a buy possible puts are based on near month or mid month far month i didn't understand the question are you asking up options based on spot or futures they are based on futures whichever put you are looking at it is that future which it is priced from okay so let's go back uh, to this data this is participant data <laughs> this is going to be super interesting So, not much activity on FIS and some activity on this part because uh, Pro has bought back calls and massively sold put. Client is uh, buying back puts, that's very interesting, but they are net uh, short puts and uh, client sold more calls that's very very interesting okay so pro bought back calls and sold puts so net short one and a half lakh calls pro short one and a half lakh calls and short 61k puts Client sold calls and bought back puts. Client short 3.5L calls. Today they <clears throat> sold calls and bought. Okay, now let's look at the 
thing which has been working for us in recent times, which is FIS Futures OI. FIS Futures OI, no change actually. Pro, hardly any change. Client, hardly any change. No, no change in, no change in uh, participant OI. FIS still short. Client still long. And today, yeah, you can see this, right? 150 crores, which is nothing. But they sold heavily in cash today also, 3,700 crores. FIS sold 3,700 crores in cash today. Verdict, uh, FI cash selling indicates medium term pain but nifty can maybe test 25 300 maybe right <coughs> upside <coughs> medium to long term pain the may test before that before correction if there is one and i think there is an odds of correction continuing but maybe nifty will give a slight bounce before going down the trajectory uh, not doing any short term trades happy to sell long term calls now i wanted to bring your attention to some other things which are happening now which seems way more interesting and certain for one, TLT seems to be bottoming out, which usually means US rates are, so you can see this, right? This is TLT. We had drawn a trend line long time back and around the zone 93, it seems to be taking support again. And if this continues, we can see TLT headed higher. Usually, uh, it's a sign of US treasury strengthening, US dollar strengthening, risk coming back into system, as in people being risk covers, people going away from stocks, going into bond, etc. Uh, Indian government bond yield is also not really going up. It is falling uh, under 680. It is hovering around. Gold has, you can see the problem, right? Gold is not really breaking out despite the fact that it is at all time high. It is in a tight consolidation zone. Silver is again falling after its initial gains. But very interestingly, crude oil is taking a bounce from this trend line which we had drawn earlier. And crude oil's price going down usually only means one thing, which is a slowdown in demand right but in the middle of all this i don't know what the scene with bitcoin is but bitcoin seems like it is uh, looking to act very strong so i won't be surprised if bitcoin is able to hold on to this level it might even form a new all-time high which i have no idea what is the rationale of that but we are not here to question rational but bitcoin is going strong but i think the most important or interesting bets here are U.S. Treasuries uh, showing signs of strength and this is a very, very potent indicator of people preferring bonds over stocks. Uh, Indian government bond yields also despite no repo rate etc. is showing strength. So somebody knows something that we don't. SPX is forming another all time high but Nifty is not really uh, <laughs> rallying along with that. Um, so if you look at it, right, SPX has rallied from 5700 to 5855, which is almost like 3%. And Nifty has only given downside. Even if I were to go with the many Elliot Janta, which we know uh, all over Twitter, etc., their target is probably around 6100 or something. That's another 3% um, away. But if Nifty continues this subside, uh, subdued activity, we might see SPX forming one last top, but Nifty won't um, really support. And when F SPX uh, finally corrects, Nifty might uh, come down significantly, right? But overall, this doesn't look great because Nifty is unable to form the kind of uh, or show the kind of strength which the uh, global indices are able to show in the last few days because my, my, my single biggest worry is from 30th September to 14th October, Nifty is down around 1000 points, but SPX is actually 
up in the same time period so us ka strength is not translating into india ka strength so that kind of uh, tells us there's something uh, going on here uh I am just reading some comments. <clears throat> Gaurav Singh is saying that next 10 days we will see Nifty reacting to earnings. Very good point, Gaurav. Given that we had HCL and Reliance today with major banking results next week. Very, very solid point. Please do come join us every day and share this uh, because I don't follow uh, results uh, a lot. But Reliance had, I think, kind of disappointing earnings today, right? So earnings season is also there. Uh, and ideas for wealth india saying bulls coming back it is clear i don't know maybe it is clear to you it's not clear to me but if you do think it is clear to you please uh, do let us know why mll uh, i i'm so sorry i missed that mail i'll do it tomorrow for sure uh, uh, let me see what else just a contrary in view what if nifty catches up with global yaar ho sakta hai but if it wanted to catch up now was the best time and yet it did not do so i kind of wonder what's the scene there right <clears throat> yeah us is not going to make any moves um see i'll tell you what right i'll tell you one interesting thing see <clears throat> no matter what uh people tell you please don't buy this narrative that says if china goes down uh, india will become the preferred market for investors all over the world that is the biggest bs i have ever heard that absolutely makes no sense china is if china is slowing down i'll wonder why is china slowing down i won't look at it as a chance for india because if china slows down it means that globally there's no demand for chinese stuff which means globally people are not buying stuff which means people are not really earning money which probably means you know what it means <clears throat> so yeah uh uday kishore asked will rbi rate cuts boost nifty up see the problem is this okay i don't think rbi ke liye rate cut is an easy thing to do simply because inflation is not where everybody is acknowledging it is it is way higher and the problem with uh, rate cut of course is that if it triggers inflation inflation does not hit people like you and me significantly but any inflation in food price etc um can uh significantly affect uh people at the lower income levels of society if that happens uh, it is not good for uh governments generally because that causes public unrest so i don't think they are going to cut the rates to rescue our portfolio but they will cut the rate if it is uh, going to be pretty harsh right like uh, in the sense if market tanks they might just uh, but i don't think yeah i i really don't think rbi is going to cut rates simply because here q career like inflation is not under control what are they going to improve by cutting rates uh, so yeah so so long story short i am slightly apprehensive of nifty's see i don't know if it will i i really have a feeling this was it right this was 26200 was probably it and we might not see this for some time but you know maybe i'm wrong i definitely sometimes i do hope i'm wrong because there's a lot of people's money stuck in markets it won't go well for anybody but it's a possibility that we might have seen the all time high of 50 for the next 2 3 4 years i don't know right so this is our analysis uh, for today we'll see you again tomorrow thank you so much.